All right, YouTube. We're back for round two of the Legacy Challenge. We beat up on uh, Eldrazi Post in round one. And now we are on the play. We won the die roll, which is good. And we got a heater. All right, I will keep this one. This hand's not great. We like, I'd like something like, uh, I don't know. I would like a Delver on top of my deck, probably, or a Brainstorm. Opponent Mulligan 2, what a guy. What a guy or a gal. What an opponent that plays. I'm going to play this Vault, because even if my opponent wastes me, um, I still have two more lands, and uh, I would like to potentially daze something without having to fetch that away. Though I really don't want to daze something. Like I, I want to just play this Pyromancer on 2. Maybe I should have just played my fetch land. Because, like, what am I dazing that really matters? Is this a streamer clash? Nice. If it's a streamer clash, you should multi-twitch it. As long as no one in the chat spoils anything. Because multi-twitch is fun. Oh, I really don't want to daze this, that I don't want to force it, but it just makes everything so much harder. The problem is I'm just not going to, might not be able to daze anything, so I'm just going to daze this as much as it sucks. Now my opponent's going to land a Thalia and I'm just going to hurl. Death and Taxes is hard. We're doing that so we don't get ported. This is a bad matchup too. My opponent streams. So they're probably actually good at Legacy. I just stream for the memes. Don't do it to me. Okay. You got it. Would have been nice to daze that. Would have been nice to force it as well. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I meant to play my Valk so that, like, I point Valk, Valk. But what are you going to do? Yeah, I messed up there. That was a punch of Ruski on my part. Because now they're going to waste my underground sea. And I'd find another land to get that going. Yeah, that, that was just a mistake on my part. Yeah, do it for the clout. Now my opponent's going to waste my sea. And I'm going to hurl. I'd like to be able to force that. We're in trouble here because this is going to be like an Umazawa's Jerget. It's going to be a batter skull. That's better than a Jerget. Lightning Bolt? No. I'm going to attack because if my opponent trades, I can play Gurmag Angler. And I'm not blocking. Yeah, that, that sucks, Zach. The problem is, is that my Gurmag Angler doesn't even, like, do anything against this, uh... Oh, my Gurmag Angler doesn't do anything. Get out of here. We're going to find some true name nemesis quick. Okay. So 
What am I going to do next time? If I put both of these back. I kind of want to fetch away. I kind of have to keep this Pyromancer, I think. Because, like, maybe there's a chance I can just wall them out or go super wide, but maybe this Pyromancer just doesn't do anything. Now, the second Pyromancer might be able to, like, do something for me. So I'm going to put back... I want to play Gurmag and go to this turn. So I'm going to go like this. Give me that Gur Dad. I don't really know how I win, but like, we're gonna give it the college try. I mean, like this Gurmag Angler does hold off the Batter Skull for a while. Oh, they have a jet. I have a sword of fire and ice. Alright. I yield. I yield to the sword. Okay, so we're on the play. So cards we're not interested in. Force of will. Spell pierce. Buster Storm. We want this. We want this. We want these. Bitter Blossoms. Stifle's not great. It can hit um, whatever it is, but that's it. Like, really, Stoneforge Mystic. Like, I could just bring in... Like, I want these two Bitter Blossoms. This Gurmag Angler's not great. Like, I could just cut all of my Stifles and then have... Like, what if I just go like this? Is this ridiculous? Oh, Pyroblast is in the pile. We don't want that. I had that set up a while ago, and it's I don't understand why it happened to it. Sort. All right, yeah, we're just going to be a boatload. We're just going to be a buttload of removal, I think. But it's like, is the fish better than like, I mean, it might be better than a stifle. It's probably worth better than a force. And the force is probably better than a fish. <coughs> we'll cut the fish. We'll keep a force of will. Okay. I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. And I would like to keep. Here's the big question. Am I... I think I'm pondering on turn one. Unless I scry a land to the top. Then if I scry a land to the top, I'm not flipping my Delver, which kind of sucks. But like... My hand's pretty strong. If I scry a land at the top, I'm going to go Delver Go. If I don't, I'm going to go Ponder to find my second land. Ugh. Keep. Put on the bottom. Doom, 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 doom. Ugh. All right, no wasteland, Daddy. Okay. 
Nice. All right. I'm just going to daze this because it protects my hand from Wasteland, protects my land from Wasteland, and it keeps my Delver in play. And I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more. So what do we got? We got a plow. I struggle a lot in this matchup. I think without Deathrite Shaman, this matchup's getting a lot harder. Just because you used to just not care about any of their mana development. You're like, whatever, I'll Deathrite Shaman you out of the game. Like, I'll get over the hump and then figure it out. question is, is what do we jam on turn two? All right, we're going to daze this. Okay. I was going to say, we don't really have a lot of bad draws. Turns out that was one of them. Dead. Now he's good. All right, land. Land so I can play Bob. <clears throat> We're in trouble. I got five mana. Just can't play Batter Skull. Okay. The window is closing. Okay. I'm really tempted to just fork bolt this Thalia. I'd like to protect my life total so that this Bob works. The problem is if I fork bolt this Thalia, it gives them, lets them just play another one, and then I'm back to the same spot. Like they're not casting spells, so they must have removal in their hand. So I think we're going to try to go the, uh, we're going to try to go like the conservative way. And like, it, there, there's, there's a chance they just have, um, there's a chance they just have batter skull in their hand and we get to daze it. I don't really want to take Bob, play Bob and just take five. But I'm at 21, so I'm probably just a coward. Oh. Yep. I should have dazed that. I punted. I should have dazed that. Yeah, definitely should have dazed that. Because then I could have dealt with it this turn. That was a punt. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, that was not good. Could have saved myself four points of damage and a card, which is definitely worth one of my cards.
Now I don't have an answer. Oh, that's bad. Flicker Wisp. I could just daze it to deal him two damage. Like, are we going to race? How do I win? If I daze it, make them deal two damage. Okay, a plow. But the problem is, like, I don't know how I win. Like, I can trade this daze for two damage, which is probably decent. But, like... I'm just going to daze this. Like, I'm going to deal them two damage with their daze. And then maybe I get into some scenario where I can race. Um... Yeah, we're just going to play out two threats. I don't really see a good way out of this. I do too. I think we're in a lot of trouble. We're in quite a bit of trouble. Maybe I was a coward for not playing the Bob. On the turn that I fork bolted. Where I messed up is I should have just dazed their uh, I should have just dazed their sword of fire and ice. Even though they can't like that sword of fire and ice ended up dealing me four more points of damage and drawing them a card, and I could have stopped that for trading my days. Alright, that's a good start. I've already used my fork bolt, which sucks. How do I? I don't think I have. A, I don't think I have a line to win here. Because because I'm brainstorm locked. Like bolt my opponent. Hold back. Bolt my opponent to five. Make another token. I have to chump. But that thing is vigilance, which is really annoying. Yeah, I don't think I have an avenue to victory here. Bolt this. They pay. Hold back. Block something. Bolt it in response. Bolt the other thing. And I don't have a flying blocker. Well, hang on. No, I can't play Delver because... The problem is we're not going to trade. They're just going to go pro blue if we're tapped out. Should we ban from tournament magic? Because, like... Why isn't the Shadow Cabal monster by the way? I don't know. Well, no, the problem is we don't trade, right? Because if I tap out of red mana here, I go block, 
I'm tapped out. Block, they give it protection. Play Delver, flip it. Yeah, the problem is I, I have to just bolt this, right? I mean, we'll give we'll give it like our the best college try here, because like this gives me a turn and my opponent could mess up. Like my opponent, my this gives my opponent the chance to mess up. Okay. Yep, they got it. 